Sorry for the net problem. Let's complete the third part of the video. This time we are going to talk about pattern number seven. By the way, the remaining three patterns, the main verb is a transitive verb. In pattern number seven, we have a monotransitive verb where it is followed by into, it is the direct object. So, this time, as in this example, so we have N, one, which is the subject, then we have the transitive verb, and N2, which is the direct object. So, as in this example, once again, the girl is the subject, and boat is the transitive verb, while address is into here, into refers to the direct object. Now we talk about the next pattern, which is pattern, pattern number eight. Here we have N1, transitive verb, N2, N3. N1 is the subject of the sentence. And then we have transitive verb, and we have N2 and N3. Uh, so, this is N1, the subject, this is a transitive verb, this is N2, which is the indirect object, and N3, which is the direct object. So, the mother bought the girl address, the mother is N1, the subject, both is the transitive verb, the girl is the indirect object, and address is the direct object. By the way, here we have two objects. The first one should be what? Should be the indirect one followed by the direct one. And now we move to the last pattern. Remember, still the verb is a transitive one, as in pattern number nine, we have N1, the subject of the sentence. Then we have transitive verb, followed by N2, followed by N2. The third slot in this uh, position, it could be followed by a number of, of options. It could be followed, for example, here by uh, N2. You see, N2 here is the object complement here. Well, it could be followed by an adjective, it could be followed by a pronoun, it could be followed by an adverb place, it could be followed by a present participle, and so on and so forth. So, from these patterns we have uh, studied, we have learned that the sentence structure in, the, in English in general is rule-governed, words usually combine they fall uh, certain slots or positions, and they are rule-governed, uh, then we uh, have nine basic sentence patterns by, by virtue of this combination.